Hey, what's up everybody? It's the food doctor back here in the kitchen with you as always, my trusty sidekick, my son Shalin, the food apprentice. And we wanna thank everybody for joining us back in the kitchen today. We're super excited for episode five. This is kind of a milestone for us and um, we're gonna celebrate with something special today. All right, yesterday was July 4th and uh, we did a little celebrating here, but we didn't have time to film an episode. So here we are, July 5th, 2020. We want to make something that is super special for July 4th, and it's our first time ever making apple pie. So as you might remember from episode one, I grew up in an apple orchard, so apple pie was something that we had a lot of, um, but I had never gotten tired of it. I love it more each time. Just never had the guts to try it, so let's give it a whirl today, okay? All right, so yeah. I really want to try this apple pie. Can we please get going? Yeah, let's do it, buddy. Let's do it. We're going to make the pie dough first because it needs to chill in the fridge. And while that's chilling in the fridge, we're going to make the apple filling. So here we go with the ingredients. We have two and a half cups of all-purpose flour divided into one and a half cups and one cup. We have one teaspoon of table salt and two tablespoons of sugar. Here we have 12 tablespoons of cold unsalted butter and one half cup of chilled vegetable shortening and that's cut into four pieces for easy processing. We have a quarter cup of cold vodka and a quarter cup of cold water. But the point of the alcohol is to prevent the flour from becoming gluten and so that will allow you to end up with a moisture and uh, chewier dough and don't worry the vodka or whatever alcohol you use it doesn't impart any flavor into the dough itself all right for this first step we're going to take one and a half cups of the flour and the sugar and salt We're gonna pulse that about three times just to really combine it well. All right, next we're gonna add the butter and the shortening. And we're just gonna process it together until it starts to form some uneven clumps. It should take about 15 to 30 seconds. So I processed it a little bit too much. It actually should look more like cottage cheese or just uneven clumps of dough everywhere. This one's already kind of gathered up. So what we're gonna do is scrape down the sides of the bowl and we're gonna add the rest of the flour. We're gonna process it again until it comes up with some uneven pieces. Good thing we have a second try. All right, so now we're gonna add the rest of the flour and I've already kind of gathered up the dough around uh, the blade evenly. We're gonna process this for about 15 more seconds, just pulsing it on and off until it forms some clumps. Okay, after about five or six quick pulses, the dough's starting to break up again, and that's when we're gonna take it out of this bowl and put it into another bowl to add the water and vodka. All right, so we got the dough out of the food processor into the medium bowl, and we're gonna just sprinkle the vodka and the water kind of evenly all over the dough. and then we're gonna kind of fold it down together until it gets a little bit tacky. And we'll take it out of the bowl and kind of work it on the counter a little bit. Now, vodka is gonna kind of, like I said, waterproof this dough and prevent it from being too gluten-y which is good for bread, but not so much for pie dough. Okay, now as you can see, the pie dough is really, really tacky. So we're gonna take it and divide it into two sections equally as much as we can. We're gonna kinda dump it onto the counter that's been floured modestly. And then we're gonna work each into about a six inch disc and chill it in the fridge. We'll be back with the finished product. Okay, so here we go. These are 
fairly equal discs of pie dough. Now they're four to six inches. We're gonna wrap each one in plastic wrap and let it chill in the fridge for about an hour. So the pie dough is chilling in the fridge, and while that's working, we're going to make the apple filling. All right, so here we have two tablespoons of unsalted butter, about two and a half to three pounds of apples cored and peeled and cut into wedges. And I remember my grandma making a mixture of something sweet like honey crisp or something and something tart like Granny Smith. So I only had one Granny Smith, but it's in there. The rest is honey crisp. We have one quarter teaspoon of ground allspice, one half teaspoon of ground cinnamon, quarter teaspoon of kosher salt. We have two thirds cup of sugar plus another one tablespoon. We have two tablespoons of all purpose flour, two teaspoons of cornstarch, one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar and one lightly beaten egg. All right, step one is to melt the butter over a large saute pan over medium high heat. Okay, so while the butter is melting, the food apprentice is gonna take the two thirds cup of sugar and add the salt and spices and whisk that all together. Okay, so once the butter is melted, you add in the apples and you stir it around till all the butter is coating the apples. Our next step is to stir the sugar and spices over the pan and we're going to stir it up to combine it. Okay, after we get it all combined we're going to lower the heat and let it just kind of cook down until the liquid starts to dissipate. It's going to take about five to seven minutes. All right, so it's been, I don't know, seven to 10 minutes now. The apples are starting to soften up and the liquid's starting to dissipate a little bit. Now it's time to sprinkle the flour and the cornstarch onto the top. We're gonna keep cooking it for a few more minutes. Let it thicken up a little bit. And we will be back. Okay, after about another three to five minutes, we're gonna turn this off. And we're gonna remove it from the heat and add the apple cider vinegar. Just to kind of loosen some things up. Okay, so in order for this to cool faster, we are just gonna spread it out onto a rimmed baking sheet. Plus minus put it in the fridge. But if you just spread it out into a thin layer, it'll cool down the room temperature while your pie dough is forming up in the fridge. All right, so we got the two discs of pie dough out of the fridge. We're getting ready to start those working. And while we're doing that, the Food Apprentice is gonna preheat the oven for me. 425 degrees. We're gonna place a rimmed baking sheet on the middle back of the oven as it's preheating. 
Okay, so I have managed to get the first disc of dough rolled out into about a 12 inch diameter and threw it in the pie pan. Um, it wasn't pretty, so we're not gonna include it. But uh, now it's time to wrap it in plastic wrap and we're gonna refrigerate it for a little while while we roll out the second disc. Okay, both portions of the pie crust have been refrigerated now. They're nice and cool and firmed up. It's time to fill in the pie filling with the apples. And we're just gonna make sure these are nice and uniform. Just lay them right in there, spread them out. Okay, next we're going to take the top of the pie crust, drape it over. It's supposed to be some overhang here. Uh, it didn't quite work out that way for me, so we're just going to get it the best we can. It doesn't really matter how it looks, it's all going to the same place. We're going to crimp it together around the edges. Okay, so as you can see, the um, didn't fit together quite exactly right, so I just filled in the thin spots with some extra dough, crimped it all together with my fingers, and uh, that's where we are. So now the food apprentice is gonna paint the dough with the egg wash, and he's gonna go a little faster because it doesn't really have to be all that pretty. So the food apprentice has the egg wash all painted on for us. Now we're gonna make about five little slits here I like to do a star pattern. It's right in the center, that's gonna let that steam escape. All right, we got the slits put in. Now the food apprentice is gonna take that sugar and just sprinkle it all over the top. That's that one tablespoon of sugar that we left aside. All right, so we're gonna put it in the oven on the heated rack, on the heated pan. So after 20 minutes, gonna look like this beautiful you just want to turn the pan and then cook it for about another 30 minutes at 375 how do you think it looks I think it looks pretty good okay so here we go the finished product after about 25 more minutes in the 375 degree oven. Of course, we gotta let this cool now. This is the hardest part. And uh, we'll try to wait four to six hours. We'll be back for the moment of truth a little bit later. Okay, it's the next day. Here's the moment of truth. What do you think? This is probably just me. I think it's sweet, but it's good. Be because like the sweetness is the part that makes it good. The apples are very sugary. They are? Mm hmm The pie crust is pretty good. Okay. It's an overall great pie. Sweet. For our first one, wasn't too bad, huh? Mm-hmm. All right. Enjoy.